Yum, yum! William Vaughn here with a quick introduction to direction constraints in Moto. A direction constraint changes an item's rotation so that it's always pointing toward the world position of another item. To apply a direction constraint to an item, simply select the item you'd like constrained followed by the item you'd like to constrain to. With both items selected, click the Direction Constraint button. Whether you move the constrained item or the item it's constrained to, the constrained item will always point at its target. To remove the constraint, simply select the two items again, hold the Shift key, and click the Remove Direction button. Direction constraints can save an incredible amount of time when animating. In this simple example, the ball rig uses a direction constraint to automatically angle the ball towards the control locator. There are several attributes available for direction constraints that can be accessed from the Properties panel. Oh, look at the time.